I've done four rows, stockinette stitch, knit one row, purl one row, and now I'm going to start my decreases. Now because this is pretty long, uh, it's 90 stitches and all, um, I want to decrease it as much as I can. I'm gonna, you're going to decrease it like you would make the top of a hat. So I'm going to start and end each row with a decrease and knit two together. And in between, I just kind of countered them out, and I'm going to knit seven. I'm going to knit two together, knit seven, knit two together. And I'm going to do that across. I end up with, I think, six at the end, um, so it won't be quite even, uh, ending with a knit two together at the end. But, you know, it doesn't make any difference if your distance between uh, the decreases is even, because... When this is all sewn together, the towel kind of folds back on itself anyway. Um, so no one's going to notice if they're even equidistance in between them. So I'm not too fussy, but I do want to get this small as quickly as I can. Um, I'm only going to decrease every other row. Decrease on the knit rows and purl a row, then decrease again. So next time it'll be six, and next time after that it'll be five. So. I'll be decreasing hopefully pretty quickly. We'll see how that works. Okay, I am down to um, just one knit stitch in between my decreases here. So this is what I've got so far. Um, and just for the record, this is when I placed it, I have enough to do this now, along the top of this towel. It's probably a little bit longer than I needed. I probably didn't need a full 90 stitches, but I think it'll be, I, it won't, I won't need to stretch it, obviously, to reach across, and um, hopefully I won't have to gather it or do anything. I think it'll, it'll fit okay, but I probably, you know, could have gotten by with like 85 stitches. Um, so keep in mind that this is not like a really perfect knitting pattern like you might get in a knitting store. Um, because on this end here, I just kind of wing it. Um, there were less stitches before the end for my um, decreasing on the end, and I just kind of do whatever with it. Um, skipped one of the decreases here to do one extra stitch, and um, but it just it doesn't matter because once it's sewn onto the towel, the towel is going to be curved anyway. So when it hangs, it's going to be curved in the back. Um, I'll show you the next step. I'm going to get down. What I eventually want is a middle strip of like, I think I did seven stitches for the handle piece that's going to flip over. Um, so we'll do it step by step. Um, I'm down to knit two together, knit one, knit two together all the way across. And I'll be knitting two together and I'll be doing that until I get to my seven middle stitches. Okay, I just finished a knit row of knitting two together all the way across. Uh, right now I have nine stitches, two, four, six, eight, nine. So I'm going to purl across and then I'm just going to knit two together on each end and that should give me my seven middle stitches that I'm going to use to do the straps. 